A lot of new restaurants opening around the D, but few will likely stand the test of time, like Roman Village and Antonio's, that have been serving up authentic, traditional Italiano cuisine for 44 years. And we are joined by Antonio Ruggiero and his mother, uh, Mama Rita, and also Chef Angel over here. Good, was good to see all three of you. Good to see you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. You need to be on TV more. You should do commercials. <laughs> You are in commercials. Thank you. What's your big line from the from the ad? I love it. The newest one we have, it's if Sinatra knew how good this linguine with clam sauce was, he'd come out of his grave just to get some. <laughs> Whatever that comes on TV, I always like I'm right there with you. Uh, what are we making today? It looks like uh, Mama Rita has already got to work. She is. She's working hard preparing one of her famous dishes called a gnocchi with uh, Rita sauce. Now settle this once and for all, because I know somebody that insists that it's gnocchi, and I've always said gnocchi. You are correct. It is gnocchi. Yep. See, I could have won a bet. <laughs> Tell us about your uh, history in the biz, in the restaurant biz. Well, mom and dad, uh, after coming to this country, they started uh, a venture in, in the Roman Village restaurant, the original mm -hmm. location in Dearborn, okay. uh, back in uh, 1964, and it's been uh, a great success. It's, it's the American dream story. And We're looking at photos right here. Like, take a look, right there. Yeah, that's one of the photos right there. That's the actual ribbon cutting on the time that they, one of the times that they remodeled. The Roman wow. Village has gone uh, a lot of changes over the years, and um, that's Mama Rita on the grill, cooking it up. And uh, um, it's 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 just evolved over the years from this little diner, greasy spoon, to this uh, real uh, nice uh, sit-down restaurant. That's uh, Dad and Uncle Bruno pulling the pizzas out of the oven. You know, the best places are little greasy spoons that grow into a, like yeah. a neighborhood restaurant that grow into a legend. Like That's you right. Know. Angel, what do you have going on down there? What are we making? Oh, over there? no, I'm just supporting Rita. All right, all right. okay. Uh, preparing her gnocchi with Rita sauce. And we've got butter and mushrooms. Butter and mushrooms. Saute with it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we basically add this and then the, uh, the pancetta, which is a uh, cured a form of bacon. Um, you say bacon, you've got me. I'm, I'm all ears. <laughs> yeah, it gives the flavor. It, it makes it nice. Okay, so well, that's sautéing. We have three dishes up front here that we could probably focus on. Let's go from screen left. We have here. On the far right, you got a chicken Antonio, another signature dish at Antonio's. What in makes Roman that Village. a chicken Antonio? Well, it's a breast of chicken that's uh, breaded and seasoned in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a secret way. And then it is topped with provolone cheese and our uh, cream sauce. Uh, it's very, very... Tasty, very rich, but very You could good. tell me the secret, but then I would sleep with the fishes, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here in the middle, we got the bruschetta. You say bruschetta or bruschetta? Bruschetta. Okay. Bruschetta. And then on the end, you have arancini. And arancini are, are, are rice balls. Uh, very popular lately. I've, I've, I've noticed it's a... Uh, it's making a, a move on a lot of the menus, but very, very good. You know, we had a food guest in not too uh, long ago on the morning show that, that did a rice ball like that. I yeah. mean, I had, I, I had never had one before, and I can't wait to try that because it's phenomenal. Very traditional appetizer in Italy and how they do it. You'll find that all our recipes are very traditional style recipes. These are recipes that Mama Rita's had uh, growing up. Uh, Oh. Brought them on, onto our tables at home, and from uh, our table, it ended up on the menu, and uh, that's how the menu has been created. All right, so there's a saying or a credo uh, or creed. Uh, what is uh, fata in casa? What, what's this? Fata in casa. Fata in casa. It means to, to, to be made in house. Um, you know, we're a true Italian restaurant, and we make everything in house from scratch from the pastas, the sauces, our desserts, our cannolis. As you can see, Mama Rita makes the gnocchi. There's a huge difference. Uh, there's no additives, no preservatives. It's just old school, real fresh, simple, and good. All right, so now um, she doesn't get up at like 3 o'clock in the morning and start making gnocchi from scratch and works like a 15 hour day, does no, she? No, but I work till 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> she gets to bed late. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is a weekend project. Mom starts, uh, you know, you hear the stories of the Italian families, how they start cooking days before. It's very true. Okay. Um, that looks and smells so delicious. Tell everybody where you're located, the different locations, the different restaurants. Well, the original location is Roman Village in Dearborn, and uh, that's over uh, in uh, the south side of Dearborn. We've got the uh, uh, Farmington Hills location on 12 Mile and Halstead. We have the Antonio's location in Dearborn Heights uh, in the Heights Shopping Center. We have the Canton location at Ford and Canton Center, and a new location that's set to open within about uh, uh, a week to 10 days, the Livonia store will be opening soon, and that'll be called Antonio's Piccolo Ristorante because it's a little smaller, doesn't have banquet seating, so we've called it Antonio's Piccolo Ristorante. Please, by all means, come by anytime. 
We love to see you. We love to try the food. We love being here. We, we love, appreciate it. We love to have you on TV too. Keep doing those ads. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you.